Hey everybody and welcome to our True Image YouTube channel. I am so excited about today. I have the lovely, amazing, fearless, and fierce, and anointed, and the lady that lives her life in the prayer closet. She cooks, she's got great fashion. She's an incredible wife and mom, an amazing sister and friend, and she is an amazing leader in our house here at Life United. This is Janice, the Janice Alvarado. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Thank you. It's gonna be so fun. So Janice has been involved with True Image for years, and we talked, this was a while ago, I think it was at one of our, it was one of our conferences, and I looked over there and I was like, who is this chick? And then it was your sister, which I didn't, like I've seen them, but I didn't know them. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that all these years later, her and her sister would be such huge pillars of strength for this ministry. And um, we love them. They have been a part of our lives. Our kids love each other. And it's just been really amazing, I think, to see how the relationships are mm -hmm. formed. But she lives, uh, she leads freedom groups. She has preached at our uh, Hispanic conference. She's ministered at our True Image conferences. She's just an amazing powerhouse. And I just have loved just getting to see you just really just blossom like into all these things. I know she does not feel that way oh. about herself, but um, I'm just excited that you're I, here. I, <laughs> she's about, I was like, wait a second. Y'all, she's so hardcore, but she is so <clears throat> sensitive at the same time. Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? Just because, I mean, it's just all the things that you say mm -hmm. and um, it just brings me to remembrance of all yeah. the things that God has done in my yeah. life. Mm -hmm. So that's why. It's amazing. Y'all, it's amazing the transformation and so, I sent out this deal to some of our leaders. I said, hey, we're bringing back the YouTube. I wanna be more consistent. Um, and right now we're posting once a month. I'd love to get it to where we can post once a week. Who knows, that time will come. But um, so anyway, so Janus responded, was like, I would love to share. Janus always had things in our heart. And so um, I guess before we get into the, the topic today, is there anything else that you wanted to add just a little bit about yourself and your family or? Yeah, um, well, you know, you mentioned, you know, I serve and my husband as well, but we have four amazing daughters. Um, you know, it's just my heart is for them and just seeing them grow and mm -hmm. seeing what, you know, God is going to do in their lives. Um, you know, you mentioned my sister and, um, but yeah, I mean, th that's really it, yeah. you yeah. know. They just love Jesus. They're servants and they're just amazing. Yeah, we're four people. Very much so, very much so. Okay, so I asked the ladies, I was like, what is something that's really on your heart that you really would like to share? And so Janice, her topic was, are you living a life of surrender? And her little points that she put was like, what are you willing to give up in order to follow Christ? And knowing that when you fully surrender, like God's gonna guide you in every season. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and so I know obviously the girls that are on this, uh, that come and share, what they're sharing about is stuff that they are very passionate about simply because it was something they struggled with. It was something that they've walked through mm -hmm. and they're still walking through. And I just want you to know, like none of us on this channel are perfect. Yeah. We're always learning, we're always growing. And so um, like with all the other ones, it's kind of interview style of questions that I'm gonna ask her. Um, and so Janice, um, what are some, uh, when you said this, like living your life of surrender, what does living a life of surrender look like to you? Okay, so for me, um, I'm going to talk about, you know, before I did, decided to live that life of surrender. Because she wasn't always that way. No. So the Lord <laughs> Jane, has done crazy. amazing things in my life, but for me, it was hard to let go of, like, control. And so whenever, and that was with my husband, now with my children, you know, but, you know, whenever I decided to surrender that, because the Lord spoke to me specific, first was with my husband, you know, I would pray for him and I would tell him what to do. But then the Lord is like, no, he, she, he's like, no, you need to learn to trust me. And I was like, Lord, I do trust you. He's like, no, you have not fully surrendered your husband. He's like, I gave you your husband, mm -hmm. you know, just the same way he gave me my children. Mm -hmm. He chose me to be their mother, mm -hmm. but then the same way with my husband. And so one year when he spoke to that to me, clearly I start, you know, he's like, I only need you to be a wife, be a mother, but then just pray for your husband, you know, declare the truth and what I say about him. Not what you say is what I say about yeah. him. 
kid you not, I mean, years passed when I saw that transformation in my husband. If I would have not fully surrender, because that was that year where I fully surrender, mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I do not understand everything. I don't get all of this, but here I am. I'm trusting you. Yeah. I trust you with my husband. If you gave me my husband, I know that he's a great person. And I just start telling, talking to God. And he literally, I pray for Billy, and that's how all that came about. Yeah. Now, with the other part is with my daughters, mm -hmm. is the same thing. Yeah. The Lord is like, I gave you your daughters, the first they're mine. Mm -hmm. And it's the same way with Billy, you know, yeah. that's God's son. Yep. And so I've done that, and I've seen the fruit of it, mm -hmm. just me getting yeah. my hands off of it. Mm -hmm. And my my prayers always is this every day, every morning, is that I, I live that life of surrender. I yeah. tell the Lord, Lord, I surrender this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want my will to be done, but your will to be done in my children's life, in my marriage, in my friendship, yeah. and all of that. All of so, it. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's a daily thing, mm -hmm. a day by day, mm -hmm. and that's what God honors, and He sees that. And mm -hmm. there's a blessing yeah. behind that. Yeah, and you'll also, you know, you see the transformation, because I remember when y'all came to the church, I mean, Billy would hardly ever come and you know and I I knew a little bit like okay well here's a mom she's married she's not really coming and then the more I got to know her I got to know their side of the story it was like man like so to see where her husband was where he is now is incredible and I just really encourage you like people that are watching if you're married and your spouse is just not like mm -hmm. they're not at it and Again, nobody is perfect. I mean, yeah. even in surrendering, I mean, sometimes we think we've surrendered things and I get it, especially as a woman and um, you want to have things together, you yeah. want to have all your stuff and you want everything to go well, but we can't make people do anything. No. I mean, we can like with our kids, you know, make them do certain things, but even in that, depending on their age, yeah. uh, you can't make them do stuff. And so I just think when it comes to letting go of control and really living a life of surrender, it is it stop it's for us to stop trying to fix people yeah and trying to make them what we want and it's so hard because i get it because i'm like lord why like my prayers aren't going to really matter like i'll tell my husband or i'll tell mm -hmm. the situation or whatever like hey you need to blah 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 mm -hmm. blah and it's like nothing's happening so yeah. it's like well lord what is it going to change me coming to you mm -hmm. and talking to you about it but it changes everything yeah and, um, and so I just really, really encourage you, if you're not praying for your spouse, your kids, yourself, your boss, whatever, Lord, you put me in this place for a reason. Yeah. You've Everything, like I am here by divine purpose. Mm -hmm. And so I just have to take my portion of life that you've given me, lay it before you and say, okay, God, here it is. Yeah. Like I surrender, I surrender to you. And even living for Jesus, I mean, we know this, like the more we get closer to the Lord, there's still areas of our life yeah that he wants us to, to surrender to him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I thought I surrendered the, to that. And a lot of times it's hard to surrender or to give up something because it's scary. Like yeah. I'm giving this up to the unknown and God, I know you're real, I know you're there, but mm -hmm. if you need some help with this, like I can help you. So it's really, it, it is, it's getting to a point of, yeah, of just being willing to say, okay, God, I yeah. trust you with everything, everything. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So then you made this, point which I think is so important of when it comes to surrender it comes to, I think of sacrifice it comes to giving up something or whatever um, a lot of people aren't willing to give up things to follow Jesus and if you notice in the Bible when Jesus called his disciples this was so encouraging to me Jesus did not already call disciples mm -hmm. he didn't already call like Christian people or followers of himself mm -hmm. he he called worldly people yeah into into a relationship and to becoming a disciple and i just think sometimes we think christianity it's about being perfect and it's not i mean i yeah. was talking to the lord the other day i was like man when i was growing up i grew up in a pastor's home and grew up in church but certain things and i didn't realize this until like my late or my, well i'm am in late 30s like my, my early 30s late 20s it's like man this was so much like religion and things that were the rules, and again, we do things because out of obedience, we love yeah. the Lord, but I didn't realize how things were taught to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, that's really religious yeah. or just things. And, and again, it's things that were taught. It's generational things. I understand that. But I was like, oh, 
my gosh, like Lindsay, you were so brutal about certain things that I thought, oh my gosh, if I do this, like I'm going to hell. Like that's so dramatic, but in certain ways I was like, oh my gosh. (laughs) But there was was such bondage in that. And so I think when it comes to giving something up for the Lord, it's because I want to. It's not because of out of out of rule yeah. following. Because mm-hmm. if I really, really love the Lord, my heart and my actions and all of that's going to follow. But I just was encouraged about Jesus' disciples because I was like, wait a second. They were not already disciples. Like They became yeah. disciples of Jesus. And obviously there are things that as we m- mature with our relationship with the Lord, He's going to ask us and talk to us about certain things about, hey, what if, what do you think about this? Mm-hmm. Do you think this is really bringing glory to me? Do you think instead of trying to come into the relationship with, with the Lord and just be like, oh, my gosh, I'm great. Everything's like I've just let go of everything. Like mm-hmm. everyone's a process and everyone's yeah. on a different path and a different journey. So um, what are some things that you had to give up in order to follow Christ? And then why do you think it's hard for people mm-hmm. to walk away from certain things? Yeah, uh, for me was the things that I gave up was everything yeah everything that I used to live in the world yeah um, you know that would be partying uh, drinking Mm -hmm. uh, hanging out with the wrong people even though you in that moment you feel whatever accepted or all of that craziness but you really I gave up all of that I gave up friendships I gave up um, just just wrong relationships we mm-hmm. had so many of them um and i decided in the moment that i decided because it's been like what 11 years i wow. counted the other day 11 years that i've like fully surrendered my mm-hmm. life to the lord mm-hmm. no matter what but i've yeah. given up everything for the lord yeah. and and i've seen the fruit of all of that yeah. it, it did hurt mm-hmm. there was pain there was cries there was um times that I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to come to church. I didn't want to read my word. I didn't want to pray. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do none of that. But I decided in the moment that I decided to to give it all up for the Lord because I just knew that it, that, that was, even though I did not fully understand that yeah. of surrender because I was learning and I yeah. was growing, mm-hmm. but I got it until like years later. But I was like, man, like, what a blessing like we as women yeah get to be part of for example in my household i'm the wife i'm the mother i'm a sister i'm a friend mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a daughter mm-hmm. all of that and god gives us that privilege mm-hmm. to be that mm-hmm. and all those moments i've seen where they're like there's blessing behind everything. Mm-hmm. I've seen the fruit of everything. Now, you know, if, we, if I bump to people yeah. from my past or whatever, we still talk to them and yeah. stuff, but it's just different. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just different. Everything's different. And I said no to this. I mean, the music, um, uh, what else? Um, I was not a smoker, smoker, but you know, I tried. Mm-hmm. It was just crazy, mm-hmm. but I did do yeah. that. And, um, and I let go of that. I mean, I just let go of everything. everything. So do you think, and this is just, because I never really did the whole like living out in the world. Part of me was like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I would have been crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Like, yes. anyway, I just, mm-hmm. I would have been off. I would have been off the chain. Mm-hmm. But, um, but <laughs> when it came to you, because I know other people that were so much into the world that when they got saved, not everybody, but a lot of people, it was that same thing of like, I want everything that God has for me. And so you go into it just like, I'm going into this. I will let go of everything yes. because of how you felt before Jesus mm-hmm. and how you felt after Jesus. It was just like, as much as you were in the world, now you're that much and some in the kingdom yeah. of God. And so why do you think other people that may struggle with that? Because I do feel like, because when I've talked to some people like, well, I'm saved, I love Jesus, but I still struggle with this, this, this. And they want to live for the Lord, but it's still a stronghold. And I don't, and a stronghold is something that just kind of keeps you like enslaved to these addictions or these habits Mm -hmm. or patterns of just way of living that sometimes people like, oh, just go pray, just go fast, which I'm all for that. But I think sometimes it's just practical things Mm -hmm. like get yourself an accountability partner. 
Um, if you're drinking constantly, like, okay, well, let's try to limit that. Yeah. Or you're smoking all the time, let's try to limit. Mm -hmm. and, and, and because I think sometimes it really is just discipline. Yeah. It's not just always this go pray, go fast, go let have somebody mm -hmm. lay hands on you. Again, I'm all for those things. But I also think in other areas, it boils down to just being disciplined and having yeah. the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. If there are things that it's like, okay, I really, really want to yeah. work on this. Because one girl was like, I just, I still cuss. I'm like, okay, and? Mm -hmm. And she goes, but it's not like I used to. I said, well, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, so it's just not beating people yes. up upside their head. But like, hey, yes. you're wanting to look more like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we're just wanting to help you what that looks like so yeah so do you think with people it's just they're not willing to let go of certain things do you think they don't know how do you think it's a combination of stuff what do you yeah think? I think it's like it could be a combination yeah you know there's people there's this one type of person is just like it's hard for them to let go of those bad habits yeah and we have to create those habits those mm -hmm. good habits mm -hmm. just the same way we created those bad ones yeah. Well, we got to take a, a huge step to decide, you know what, I'm done. I'm tired yeah. of living this life um, and letting go mm -hmm. and trusting God. Yes, yeah. in the process, um, in the process, you will not make it all all right. You yeah. know, everything is going to take time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at least when um, one thing I've learned when letting go of everything, and I did not say, oh, you know, hoo hoo, here we go, everything. <laughs> Bye bye. No, it took time. <laughs> like every day, it took time. But I was willing uh, to let it go, you yeah. know, and let the Lord teach me. I say, okay, Lord, this is not of you. Yeah. I need you to help me yeah. let go of this yeah. temptation mm -hmm. or whatever it can be. And He will. And He will. And um, there's that type of people where they they want they don't want to let go of control. Yeah. You know, it's hard for them to to give up is you know I see it as I remember when my mom used to like tell us what to do uh, don't do this because this is going to cause this and you're like no nah, you know it's the same way with anything mm -hmm. addiction or anything you know you know it's telling you hey people could come around and tell you hey this is not right for you or whatever yeah but it's up to you if you want to let it go or not yeah you know mm -hmm. and there's another type of person is that that they probably don't know how to yeah. fight that off. Yeah. And my encouragement is that you have to be involved, be in a church, uh, surround yourself with godly yeah. women mm -hmm. uh, to pray for you. And when you're in the weakness, because I've learned that in our weakness, uh, in the body we're strong. Yeah. And so I've, I've experienced that, mm -hmm. that even though I was so jacked up and messed up in every way, I had strong women around me. Yeah. And if it was for a season or whatever, but it was that season that I needed them the most, yeah. mm -hmm. they were there. And so, you know, being at church, you know, letting the word soak, soak in into your spirit, into yeah. your heart. Mm -hmm. So those things will go. And yeah. so um, one of the things that the scripture keeps popping up is, you know, and I stand on this scripture a lot, you know, and I pray it when I pray is that when God's word says that, you know, seek the kingdom first. Mm -hmm. He's telling us right there and then, even though you don't know how to get to that place, as long as you're like, here, Lord, here I am. Yeah. Here I am. I want to surrender this addiction or this temptation, whatever that is. Um, if you determine in your heart to serve the Lord with all your heart, then everything else will come. Yeah. Whatever that is, whatever you needing, whatever you're lacking, mm -hmm. whatever strength you need, he gives you that. It yeah. is in him mm -hmm. because we're like, it's not your, and not our will, but your yeah. will to be done in, yeah. a, in our lives. So. Yeah. It's so, it's so true. And I just think you, what you said at being around people too, that call you higher, you know, when you're, when you're coming out of a situation and it could be like so far off, like anti-God, yeah. or it could just be, you're trying to be closer to God. You know, you're not in the whole anti-God scene, mm -hmm. but you're like, but I, I'm struggling, like I want to be around other people because even people in the Christian community, we can still be unhealthy and we can still be toxic. Like just because mm -hmm. we're saved and going to heaven doesn't mean we're free, doesn't mean we don't yeah. have unhealthy patterns, doesn't mean, you know. And so I think it's also important that as you are growing 
in your relationship with the Lord and just as you're growing as a person that you are willing to say, you know what, I need to seek out yeah. other people who are stronger mm-hmm. with the Lord, who can challenge me. Because it's not just telling uh, people pouring in you, just telling you what to do. Yeah, it's, it's you being around people in different situations, watching how they live their life, watching yes. how they handle situations, watching how they are at home. Um, and I think that that's important too, because we are going to be conformed to who we're around. Yes. And so I remember when I was younger, my husband and I basically grew up together and I was like so dramatic. I mean, I'm still dramatic, but not like I was, I was so messy. I was so, oh my God, I was so awful. And I remember Paul telling me when we got, when we were dating, he goes, you know, I remember watching you with this certain season of your life. And I thought, And he said this to me, he goes, if Lindsay could just hang around with, with the right people, I think it would, it would pull her out of a lot of this, you know, the way I was. And I'm so thankful because even though we weren't dating at at this particular season, when I was, he was talking about this season, I was able to be around him and some other people and, and they were, you know, which he's only a year older than me, but other people he hung out with was, you know, several years older than me. I was so thankful that they let this little, like, annoying little girl, like, yeah. hang out with them. But I remember that time going, watching these older people, and they weren't perfect. Yeah. But just being around them, I was like, oh, there's peace. There's yes. no drama. Like, mm-hmm. this is just happy. So it was just, I just remember that season when you talked about being around people that, we just have to be willing to like put ourselves out there, which I know it can be scary at times. Mm-hmm. Like, oh but to be around other people that can just, you know, speak life to yes. you. And I remember another girl reaching out to me in youth. I was middle school. She was high school. And she like would take me for ice cream. She, you know, sat next to me in youth group, which I was like, I'm a middle schooler. This high school girl is sitting next to me. Mm-hmm. And just being around her. And I was just like, man, like I'm so thankful that there are people we might not see it now because we might not think to look for it, but just God show me people that I can start yes. just hanging around and just get that, mm-hmm. get that other stuff off of me. So yes. I think that's really important. Okay, yes. so you talked about I know there are a ton of these, so I asked her give me two certain certain instances because you talked about obviously living a life of surrender. We're asking, are we really living that life? But then you mentioned how God guides you. Now, I've seen God guide you in a lot of seasons. Mm -hmm. So I asked her to pick out two different seasons that stood out to her, which it's probably her whole life. But (laughs) two particular seasons that you allowed the Lord to guide you in those times. Yeah. Um, Well, the one season that I can say, because it's like you said, it's many of them. But I was like, Lord, which one is right now? with my daughters Mm -hmm. and my daughters and um, just uh, friendships. Yeah. And so these are the two that I picked because I was like, Lord, why? But there's, there's a reason why, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think every one of us, God prepares us to what is next and what he wants us to do and what he has called us to do. So I pick my daughters because they are, you know, that that's my mission. Tell them their ages. Okay. Uh, 17, 16, uh, 12, and 5. So, yes. You could imagine. (laughs) Yes. But it's just been amazing uh, journey with them. Crazy and good and bad and ugly and all of it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. But I've learned because of the fact that God has trained me this whole time to be their mother, yeah. to be for them, and um, just the same way I am with my friendships. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, God um, has taught me that with people that I've led in groups or any any place, um, God is like, I- I've trained you for this. And he's given me four amazing daughters. They're all different character. They think different, they act different, all the above. But I've seen that, you know, just trusting the Lord with their lives, um, the same way with friendship, but with them is just trusting God mm-hmm. and and me talking less with them, mm-hmm. but just trusting God and um, and being there for them. Um, I've, I mean, I'm I'm learning, you know, just new things every day because I ask God, I'm like, Lord, 
I need you to show me how yeah. to be a better mom. Mm -hmm. You know, how to be there more and listen more and yeah. not talk because I could talk. And mm -hmm. so the Lord's like, no, not with them. Don't talk because mm -hmm. they're all talkers. So <laughs> it's just like we all, you know, mm -hmm. they, they have some of my personality. Uh -huh. Bless the Lord. Mm -hmm. But so I've seen that, you know, trusting God and I've seen the fruit of it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um you know, I can ask one of my daughters, uh, you know, the 16 year old and, and she, you know, I said, Cassandra, can you, uh, you know, pray today? And before they're like, oh, I don't want to do none of that. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, oh, well, I know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. So they pray and I don't tell them what to pray. Yeah. But before that, I would have to train them mm -hmm. to do it. Now they're like, Lord, help me with testing because they're yeah. testing these couple weeks. But um, help me, you know, protection and all. It's just crazy just mm -hmm. seeing how they're now learning to trust God mm -hmm. for their self, yeah. not through me, not standing by my own, you know, my yeah. faith, but it's time for them to stand yeah. on their own. But they, even though y'all had that where you were said you were talking so much at them, but you have talked with them. Yeah. And, and, and I've seen, because I mean, I'm taking notes, but I've seen her and Billy like approach parenthood like they're changing and I think it's important as as parents that you don't just get so stuck in a certain way but you're allowing the Holy Spirit to yes. guide you because and we could be here for hours all the stories with her daughters but I've seen the change in them I've seen their countenance change like it's only the Lord that does that so yes. it's not just what you said Janice to them but I also think it's what you've modeled at home mm -hmm. and you which I think is amazing as a parent you've owned your mistakes to yeah. them. You've told them, hey, I did not do this mm -hmm. right. Please forgive me. Yes. That is huge. Instead mm -hmm. of just being like, I'm your mom. I don't like, I am, I'm gonna make you think I'm perfect even though yeah. they know we're not. Yeah. But I think I could only imagine as the kids get older, when you can talk with them, they appreciate that honesty yeah. because they know that, hey, you're telling them I made a mistake here please forgive me. Like, yes. and I, you're still the parent. You're yes. still, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen the change in her mm -hmm. girls. And she would tell me stories. I'm like, wait, I'm sorry. She said, what? Yeah. She did what? She responded in what way? Like, it's amazing yes. to see mm -hmm. how you have allowed the Lord to guide your motherhood with them because yeah. it's, it's been a pretty drastic change. Yes. So, yes. and then so, you're talking about in friendships. Yes. Friendship, um, you know, just, being there more for people. You know, when we grew up, um, my sister and I, and you know, all my brothers and mm -hmm. sisters, but more was Jessica and I, we were so close all the time. Um, even though we will fight. Your like sisters, what have, are you, yeah. But still God restored that and we're together all the time. Mm -hmm. And so, but um, just uh, with friendship, I've learned to be there because we grew up with not mm -hmm. having that. Um, even though we had friends or whatever, but it was not the same. And it's those deep meaning yes, friendships. Yes, and now, you know, I have that. I have, it's just a few. Yeah. It's just finger counting, mm -hmm. but I'm not, you know, but it's just amazing because I know that they're there for me. Mm -hmm. And it's so important, but it's those seeds that we plant. Mm -hmm. Even though I've learned that, you know, I've had good friendship and bad friendships, but um, I've learned that, you know, those seeds that were planted, yeah. they were there. And God, you know, will reap a harvest and he'll bring those friendships. Yes. And I was, I would look back the other day, I have a car, if you mm -hmm. asked us to write like, I don't know, 10 things I think it was. Mm -hmm. But one of them was friendship, you know, that I would have, Billy and I would have golly friendships. Uh, especially in the season that we're in, you know, um, with children and all of that. And, and we've had that, you know, and we've learned from them and we've grown in how they do things. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, we've seen that. And so we're like, oh no, we got to, we got to get, we mm -hmm. got to get it together. Mm -hmm. stuff like, but it, they challenge you to be better yeah. of yourself instead yes. of you're like, oh, well, you know, whatever, you can't do this. Or if you have friendship, that, I mean, if they're, they're not. They're going to do it with you. <laughs> yes, they're going to do it with you. They're not, you know, they don't have life in order and yeah. they're not striving to mm -hmm. be better mm -hmm. in areas yeah. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So we have that. And I've learned with friendship is there was a year whenever we you asked us for prayer mm -hmm. about you were going to pray for us. It was that, you know, letting go and letting the Lord bring those 
that they're friendship. so needed and it I is think, so needed. and it's one thing to have like surface friendships acquaintances and relationships yeah. but I mean when you're like in the thick of things who are you going mm. do you have at least one person that you can call on yes we call on Jesus yes, yes. we call on that on mm-hmm. that relationship with him but it's important that you have people and understanding that people go through different seasons yes. that I may be more available in this season, but the next season, because of my family, I yeah. might not be as available, mm-hmm. but I'm still available. Yes. And it's not taking things personal, mm-hmm. understanding where seasons are and yes. don't, if there is a relationship that you're like, hey, this feels kind of funky, don't just like ignore it. Like be like, hey, um, I just want to make sure we're good because I've noticed the pullback. They could be going through stuff, or yeah. they, it's like, and I know as a parent, you don't have a time sometimes to catch your breath. Yeah. Um, and so it's important, and also noting in relationships, there may be a season where you're giving more to that person mm-hmm. than maybe they have the capacity yeah. to. But again, knowing that there's those that can pour into you, mm-hmm. there are those that, man, you're just like striving together, and then there's those that. They're not bad friends, but you're more of an encouragement to them yes. than you are than they are to you, and that's not wrong either. But you can't expect that person to be, to be where they're, you know. So it's it's learning that okay, I want this person in my life. I love them. I love spending time with them, but they're not going to be like my yeah, you know, whatever. Like my ride or die, if you would. But if they needed me, I'm still going to check on them. I'm going to still hang out with them. And so I think that's a whole other thing, but learning yeah. in the different relationships where they are in proximity to your heart, because as a wife, as a mom, depending on how many kids you have, yeah. your time is very limited. Yes. And I've learned that because mm-hmm. my kids are three, I have three kids under four and under. So my season is like, whoosh, <laughs> it's very much this and it's hard and it's challenging, but that's the season that I'm in. Mm-hmm. And so, which I told Jane, it's just, we went through a whole, we've been like literally battling sickness since like December. It's like, yeah. oh my God, like I just want to get out of this house mm-hmm. and stop having to, you know, uh, John Michael had two viruses. Then we've had like the stomach bug like two or three times and <laughs> it just was coming in waves, guys. And so I think having those friendships, and like you said, God wants us to have friendships. He wants us to be healthy. He yeah. wants us to live a life full yes. of the joy of the Lord. And so Janice, in closing, what are some things that you would want to challenge those watching? And then we're going to have you pray over everybody. Okay. Um, I want to challenge you today that if if it's hard, if, if it has been hard for you to surrender uh, your life, the things that is holding you back. Um, today's the day you can do that. It's so easy and simple. Mm-hmm. You just pray that. You just tell the Lord, Lord, here I am. I want to honor you with yeah. my life, with yeah. my body, mm-hmm. with everything that I have inside of me. Yeah. It's, it's that simple. It's not hard. It's not complicated. It's just we have to come to a place of humbling ourselves humbling ourselves unto the Lord and he will be faithful. Yeah. He will be faithful to that. Yeah. He sees your heart, he knows where you are, he knows that you want more of him and this is the time. Yeah. This is the time where you can turn around and say, "You know what? I'm done. I'm done fighting for myself. I'm done trying to fight this addiction. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm going to go to the next step yeah. is to if you're not in church, be at church. Don't miss a service. It's, it's so important. You know, God will speak to you, especially if you're not in the Word and you need the Word. Well, yeah. this is the place where you have yeah. to be in mm-hmm. church. Uh, surround yourself with godly women. Yeah, uh, They will love on you. They will help you mm-hmm. grow. They will challenge you to be the best person that you can be. Yeah, And always remember that God's Word says that if you pick up your cross, the one that he's intended for you to pick up, Mm -hmm. he will allow, Mm -hmm. he will allow for you to succeed. Mm -hmm. He'll allow for you to be that person that you have longed in your heart to be. Yes. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. is, is there, is there. So I encourage you that is never too late. Yeah. 
this is the time mm -hmm. and I hope that you know all of this that we've shared it will be a blessing yep. for you mm -hmm. I know that there's so much more yeah so. oh my gosh yes all right well she's gonna pray for you guys thank you for watching share this video if you think this is encouraging to you we have so many more amazing women coming on this channel to share their journeys from one extreme to the other yes. so thank you for being on here with me you're welcome I love thank it you for love inviting it, love me. It. okay Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord. Thank you for allowing us today, Father God, to share our testimony, Lord, mm -hmm. and the things that you have done in our lives, Father God. We just thank you, Father, and that not that we just literally share for ourselves to hear ourselves, Father, but it's important for others to hear what yeah. you have done in your goodness, yes. Father, in your faithfulness, Father God. Father, I just thank you, Lord, that as these women, Father, or guys, Lord Jesus, would watch whoever they are, Father, that they would come to a place, Lord, of surrendering their yes. lives to you. There's such a blessing, Father, behind us surrendering to you, Father. So I just thank you, Lord, for what you have done and that these seeds, Father God, that has been planted today, Father, yes. it will reap the harvest, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Amen.